Breaking news. Crossing into new territory. The Trump transition. Rising threats. And America's spiritual crossroads. The recent threats against members of President-elect Donald Trump's transition team are not just attacks on individuals. They are symptomatic of a deeper, spiritual and cultural battle for the soul of America. As we witness violent attempts to intimidate those serving our nation, we must ask ourselves, what kind of country are we becoming and where are we headed? The news that at least nine members of the Trump transition team, along with their families, were targeted with bomb threats and swatting incidents, underscores the volatile crossroads at which America now stands. These are not isolated events. They are harbingers of the spiritual and political challenges confronting our nation. As a journalist and author who has explored America's prophetic destiny in the Trump Code and Revelation 911, I believe these events call for reflection, prayer, and decisive action. We are on day 23 of the 77 days to take back America, igniting a final Great Awakening campaign. And this moment serves as a critical reminder of the spiritual warfare waged over this nation, a nation under siege. Violent threats against public officials are reprehensible, but their motivations are revealing. Consider the case of Representative Lee Zeldin, who received a bomb threat with a pro-Palestinian-themed message. This attack, steeped in anti-Semitism and political extremism, reflects the interconnectedness of global and domestic tensions. Similarly, the threats against Elise Stefanik and Lori Chavez de Remer during Thanksgiving, a time meant for gratitude and unity, highlight how political divisions now invade even the most sacred moments of family life. Yet, these events also reflect a deeper reality. America is at war not only with external adversaries, but with internal forces of division, fear, and spiritual decay. In Revelation 9-11, I explore how ancient prophecies mirror modern events, warning us that we are living in tumultuous times foretold in Scripture. These warnings call us to vigilance and faith, not despair. A call to action, spiritual and political renewal. The threats faced by Trump's transition team also reveal something profound about leadership in these times. It is not for the faint of heart. President-elect Trump's resilience and the swift response by law enforcement demonstrate a commitment to overcoming intimidation. But political courage alone will not heal our nation. This is why I launched the 77 Days to Take Back America campaign in collaboration with prominent faith leaders such as Pastor Paul Begley, Reverend Kevin Jessup, co-founder of The Return International, Dr. Larry Kefauver, Dr. Paul McGuire, and others. Through partnerships with leading Christian media outlets, including Charisma Media, Dr. Bruce Oliver's Top 34 Christian Podcast, His Glory, Daystar Canada, and TBN, I have been honored to share this vision in interviews and discussions. We are not merely witnessing a battle for political power. We are experiencing a profound spiritual awakening that calls for active participation. Each day, this campaign invites us to unite in prayer, reflection, and action as we seek divine guidance for America's future. On day 23, crossing into new territory, we focus on praying for wisdom and discernment as we navigate this new season. As the threats against Trump's team show, entering new territory, whether spiritually or politically, requires faith, courage, and reliance on God's protection. Crossroads and prophetic parallels. In the Trump Code, I delve into the prophetic patterns surrounding President Trump's leadership. These threats are not coincidental. They are a continuation of the spiritual battle we have seen intensify in recent years. Just as Joshua led the Israelites into the Promised Land, we find ourselves at a threshold where boldness and faith are required. Yet, as with any crossing, there are giants in the land. The threats against public officials, the growing political violence, and the societal divisions are those giants. The key is remembering that we do not fight these battles alone. Scripture reminds us in 2 Chronicles 2015, Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, 
for the battle is not yours, but God's. Moving forward, a season of awakening. As we press forward in the 77 Days to Take Back America campaign, I invite you to join me in praying for the safety of President-elect Trump, his family, and his team, the unity of our nation amid rising tensions and divisions, a final great awakening that will restore America to its foundational values. Let us reflect on this pivotal moment in history, not as a time of despair, but as an opportunity to step into new territory with renewed faith and courage. As the threats against Trump's team show, we cannot take safety or stability for granted. Instead, we must turn to God for protection, wisdom, and guidance. America's journey is far from over. As I write in Revelation 9:11, we are witnessing the intersection of prophecy and current events, a call for spiritual revival that can reshape our nation's future. Together, let us heed this call, cross into new territory, and work toward a nation grounded in faith, hope, and unity. Dear friends, as we've reflected on the powerful truths today, some of you may feel the Lord calling you into a deeper relationship with Him. Or perhaps this is the first time you've been moved to give your life to Christ. If that's you, I want to invite you to pray this simple prayer of salvation with me. Heavenly Father, I come before you today, confessing that I am a sinner in need of your grace. I believe that Jesus died for my sins and rose again. And I ask you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I turn from my old ways and commit to following you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, guide me by your word, and help me to live for you each day. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, I encourage you to take the next step by asking a pastor to baptize you at a local church, making your decision to follow Jesus public. Baptism is a symbol of your commitment to Christ, and it's a powerful declaration of your faith. Also, seek fellowship with other believers so you can grow in your faith and learn more about your new life in Christ. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your word and for speaking to us today. As we leave this moment, help us to keep your truth close to our hearts. Guide our steps, strengthen our faith, and let your light shine through us in a world that so desperately needs it. We pray for your continued blessing on our lives, our families, and our nation. In Jesus' name, amen. As we come to the end, I encourage you to dive deeper into Bible prophecy and Christian living through my best-selling books, written by myself or co-authors. These include The Trump Code, Revelation 9-1-1, Your Mission in God's Army, The Military Guide to Disarming Deception, The Military Guide to Armageddon, Trumpocalypse, and The Babylon Code. These books will bless you richly, encourage your faith, and provide profound insight into God's hope for your life. You can visit my website at www.troyanderson.us and I also invite you to explore Prophecy Investigators at www.prophecyinvestigators.com and Revelation Watchers at www.revelationwatchers.com. Lastly, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Your engagement helps us reach more people with this important message. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Until the next video, may God bless you keep you and shine his light upon you. Mm -hmm.